Hello, guys. Welcome to everyone. Good evening to every one of you. Good evening. So it's nice to see you again. Thank you so much for the ones that are already here for your punctuality and for your responsibility. It's so nice to see you here. Thanks so much for that. So guys, as usual, you know that what we're gonna do every single time when we start the class, I'm gonna start by asking you questions about the previous class. So, you know, we are going to have a practice actually about the previous class. So, thanks for the ones that just. Los que se acaban de conectar, welcome. So, and good evening to you too. All right, so I got some messages uh, that you're having problems. Alguno de ustedes le ha sido difícil buscar chicos a Zoom? Has it been difficult for any one of you? No, en mi caso no he tenido problemas, teacher, porque siempre estoy utilizando el mismo código. Este, entro de la misma manera que entraba en un principio. Ah, Pero okay. si entro desde de, de, el correo que me dieron después, sí. Ok. Tengo problemas. All right, so that's good. Ok, so we're going to start, guys, by, uh, you know, practicing. Who can tell me what was yesterday's class about? Okay, what was yesterday's class about? Good evening. Good evening, Sandra. Yesterday we uh, talked about clothes. We talked and... about clothes, okay. Yes, and... Some vocabulary. Some vocabulary, uh, okay. Um, we have a practice today. Mm -hmm. One, uh, uh, one words. Of oh, some words, okay. Some words. Okay. All right, so we're gonna have a practice today, guys. And the practice is going to be about the vocabulary that was so yesterday. Yesterday, the class was about vocabulary of clothes. I'm pretty sure that some of you already know things about that. So once again, I need you to have pen, paper, and pencil, okay? Necesito que todos escrito con cuaderno or whatever you have there. And we're going to start. Vamos a empezar con la práctica. Remember, this is a practice. Esta solamente es una práctica. If you don't know how to say Si no sabe cómo hacer algo o decir algo, that's okay. That's the reason why we're practicing. All right, so I will be checking every one of you later on. So uh, we're going to start. Is everyone ready? Si todos están listo. Can you please confirm you're ready? Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. Good. Thank you, Sandra, Giselle. Yes, not really. Good. Oscar, yes. so much. What about the others? I'm ready. Good. Thanks, Marielos. So now we're going to start. Empezamos. So this time, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to have 10 words. Vamos a tener 10 palabras. And then I will say it in Spanish. Lo voy a decir en español. And you write it in English. Okay? So we start. Number one. Uno, traje. Traje. If you don't know how to say something, si no sabe cómo hacerlo, it's okay. Está bien. So, now, number two, número dos. Falda. 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 That's number two, número dos. Now, we move on to, nos movemos a los accesorios. Y cincho. Cincho. Cincho.
Okay, now we move on to the other. We got number four and we go to Blusa. Blusa. How many do we have? I think that we have four, right? Tenemos cuatro so far, correct? Good, so we're gonna move on to number five, corbata. Corbata. Okay, now we move on to Let's see. We're gonna have sweater. 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 Now, we're gonna have number seven, numero siete, guantes, guantes. Guantes. Now, number eight. This is now, nos vamos a mover con las partes de la ropa. How do we call, o como le decimos al cuello? Cuello. Cuello. How many do we have? Eight. Eight, okay. Now we're gonna go to number nine. And how do we say bolsa? But referring to una bolsa de una camisa or de un pantalón, how do you say that? Bolsa. And we go to the last one. You know, movemos a la última. That is going to be. Let's see. ¿Cómo le llamamos al suéter que tiene gorro? Suéter con gorro. How do we say that? I remember foot. I'm sorry. Uh, I believe is hood. Hood, yeah. Hood or a hoodie. It's the same thing. All right, so that's that's gonna be all, guys. Eso es todo. We got 10. Do you have one minute right now for you to send the uh the picture through WhatsApp? We are 16 on the call. So I'm expecting to receive, well, 16 including me. So I'm expecting to receive 15. Okay, I received some of you. I received Oscar. I received uh, Adelia, I received uh, Giselle, I already received Humberto, I received already Guadalupe. Let's see, I already received Marielo, Sandra, thank you very much. Okay. Let's see. Okay, I received some others right now. Carlos Martinez, okay, thanks so much. Elizabeth Rivas, all right, good. I'm still waiting for Katie, Natalie. 
well, Benjamin, he, he said that he was not going to be here. But okay, I understand. So, uh, well, I'm going to be expecting the other ones. Voy a estar esperando lo demás. So that's going to be the practice for today. Well, guys, for today, uh, we're also going to have a little bit of vocabulary. But today we're going to learn. Vamos a aprender colors. So, okay. Now, uh, before we go to that, antes de movernos a eso, I will ask you questions. Le voy a preguntar a cada uno una palabra del vocabulario de ayer. So let's see. Uh, for example, Marielos, how do we say gorra? Gorra o cachucha that we call it in El Salvador. Uh, cup. Cup, correct. That's what we say it. Now, uh, Adelia. Adelia, how do we say vestido? Dress. Dress, correct. Now, Oscar, how do we say sombrero? Hat. Hat, correct. Hat. Let me see, Jacqueline. How do we say Jacqueline? Uh, bufanda. Jacqueline, you there? Well, she's probably not there. So let's see, Guadalupe. How do we say bufanda, Guadalupe? Uh, scarf. scarf. Scarf, excellent. Good. Sandra, how do we say, Sandra? Uh, let's see. What's the difference, o más bien, tenemos una diferencia para decir pantalones entre Estados Unidos e Inglaterra? Do we have a difference? Yes. What's the difference? Uh, I don't remember it. You don't remember. Okay, let's see. Natalie, do you remember the difference? Um, <laughs> sorry, I don't remember. Aha. Así <laughs> lo quería agarrar todo, ¿verdad? So let's see. Uh, Giselle, do you remember? I know, teacher. Mm -hmm. Elizabeth, what about you? Solamente recuerdo jeans. Jeans. Estados Unidos. Okay. okay. All right. So, Marielos, go ahead, Marielos. Pants y trucer. Yeah, we say pants in United States and trousers in England. That's the difference between American English and British English. So I, I've seen guys, eh, la mayoría de los que, well, I see Joel, Joel, were you having some issues? Eh, vi que estabas teniendo problemas al conectarte, correct? Okay, see, yes. Teniendo problemas, pero ya estoy aquí, gracias. Ya ok, aquí. good. Jessica, I was going to ask you something. Uh, did you check by any chance, Jessica, the situation of the, of the platform? Did you verify if you are able to get the certificate? Yes, teacher. Yes, Repeat the questions, please. Were, were you able to verify in the platform if you can have your certificate or not? Uh, I understand. I understand. Si tuve problemas con la plataforma. No, no, no. I mean, remember que ya terminaste la plataforma, correct? Oh, yeah. Sí, uh, now my question is, la, la pregunta es, 
Eh, ¿Tuviste, ya te apareció el botón de reclamar certificado? No. No, no yet. No okay. me he caído todavía. Ok, Oscar. Oscar y creo que Benjamin eran los que el día de ayer también dijeron que ya habían completado. Now, Oscar, what about you? Is everything okay? Todo está bien? Is everything correct? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. last name is in everything. Okay, good. My thank name, so my last name, correct. Oh, good. So thank you very much. Now, we're gonna move on guys. We're gonna continue with today's class because you know, one hour sometimes is not enough. Do not feel when we have one hour. So, ¿se recuerdan chicos que les había dicho del trabalengua? Si se recuerdan, ¿verdad? No se me había olvidado. So we have, we're gonna have that. Esa actividad la vamos a tener para el día. Now let's see. For Friday, se las voy a dejar desde el día de ahora. Van a tener hasta el día viernes para poder practicarlo y enviarme un audio diciendo el trabalengua. Are we clear? Okay. So we're gonna have two, vamos a tener dos. Uno que está version a little bit easy, vamos a decir que está un poquito fácil, let's say. So, um, I'm gonna grab it right now. So los voy a, es a pasar ahorita acá en el chat from the call. So just give me a moment. I'm just gonna check it right here because it's not working. So remember for Friday, you have until Friday a cualquier hora el día viernes. So don't worry. What I need you to do or what, what I'm basically trying to verify with this, lo que básicamente quiero ver con esto es que empecemos a desenrollar esa lengua, okay? That's the main purpose of doing that. So let me just check here. O es el destino que no quiere que se los mande, but I don't know, I cannot find it. Jesus Christ. All right, so I have it here. So I will send it, that's the first one. So, si es el primero, este es el que está algo, algo más trabadito que el otro. ¿verdad? So just let me, just give you the other. So you can copy, lo puede copiar y pegar, I don't know, in your phone. Creo que algunos están desde el teléfono, so you just copy and paste it. So, uh, le voy a dar una media leidita al primero, so you can just listen, solo para que tengan una idea, okay? So, the first one says, how much would, would a good chalk chalk, if a good chalk could chalk would? Sounds weird, right? Suena rarísimo. But that's a, that's a tongue twister. So that's a, that's a little bit difficult. Stop. So Oscar, yes? Uh, uh, one question. Uh, yes. Ya me envío al, al, al chat grupal? Oh, no, no. I mean, I send it here. Es que no me envío no acá en, en el chat de la llamada. Ah, puede colocarlo nuevamente, por favor. Oh, okay. Ah, el chat. Ah, okay. Yeah, the chat from the call, the chat de la llamada. So I don't know if you can see it. So, and the number two, y el segundo es, she sells seashells by the seashore. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So I remember for Friday, para el día viernes, so you practice, usted lo practica el día de ahora o mañana, el jueves, el viernes en la mañana, and then when you feel you're ready, cuando siente que ya está listo, send it. So, para que nadie esté escuchando sus audios en el grupo, les voy a pedir que lo envíen directo, ¿ok? Por la pena, ¿verdad? Que lo escuchen ahí, que se le traba la lengua, ¿ok? So, but if you want to send it through, through the group, enviar al grupo, that's okay. So it's up to you. Ahí depende de ustedes. So we're going to move on, guys, to today's class. Movemos a la clase del día de ahora. 
And just let me go ahead and share the screen so you can have an idea to what we're gonna do today. So as I was saying before, today's class is going to be about uh, vocabulary, about colors. So today we're gonna have a little bit of vocabulary too, which we're going to learn how pronounce and some colors. Okay, so just let me share the screen. Now, I would like to know, can you see the screen? Pueden ver la pantalla? Yes. Can you see it or no? No, I can see. You can't? That's weird. What about the others? Oh, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes. I can see now. Okay, yes. good, thanks. Now, as you can see, guys, today is our 10th class. Nuestra clase número 10, solo nos quedan seis clases más, chicos, and that's going to be over. Y eso sería nuestro primer módulo. So we just have six more classes. Oh, I'm telling you since now, desde ya les voy a decir, chicos, el día de nuestra última clase, desde ya se los digo. Jueve, no, in that case, it's going to be, yes. Eh, el día que tengamos nuestra última clase va a ser un examen de todo lo que hemos visto en la fase. So, desde ya les estoy diciendo, please be ready. Estudie, alístese, porque el último día de clases vamos a tener examen de toda la fase. Ok? So, we're going to do it in groups. Lo vamos a hacer en grupos for you to be a little bit easy. But, esa información se la voy a hacer saber ya cuando estemos más próximos. But I'm telling you since now, se los digo desde ya, so you can start practicing para que tengan tiempo de prepararse. So we're going to start, guys, with the colors. And as you can see here, okay, Jacqueline, it's okay. Now, uh, here, in English and in any other uh, call, uh, colors or countries in cualquier país, in, it doesn't matter the language. Here we have three basic colors. Tenemos tres colores básicos or primary colors of light. Colores primarios. It doesn't matter if you speak English, if you speak French, if you speak Spanish, if you speak Portuguese. That's going to be the same thing around the world. No importa qué idioma hable, that's going to be the same. So we have three, which are the red color, the blue color, and the green color. So as it says here, when the three primary colors of light are blended, they make white light. Cuando juntamos todos los colores primarios, podemos hacer un color blanco. That's what it says. I've never tasted that, but uh, probably if there's someone here who likes to paint, si alguien de acá le gusta pintar, probably you will know about this information. So um, we're going to move on. That's just basic information for you to know, like the basic colors that we have in English. But also today we're going to focus a little bit more on, on you know, on vocabulary. So uh, here we have some things that are pretty, uh, you know, that every one of you needs to know. Eh, si me están entendiendo, chicos, que veo rostros perdidos, so I really don't know if me están entendiendo or am I doing too fast, o, o voy muy rápido. Is it clear? Si todos me han entendido lo que dije or not? No. Yes. Yes. Well, some of you yes, and some of you no. Okay. Algunas palabras. Okay, good. So I will try to slow down. Colores primarios. Okay, okay. At least, at least you catch a little bit. So I will try to slow down. Voy a tratar de slow down, de detenerme a little bit, so you can understand. All right. So here we have. What's the difference between color and color? Here. You, as you know, in British English, in English Britannico, si ustedes ya lo han escuchado, there's a difference. Hay una diferencia, right? They speak in a different way. Tienen un acento diferente. And for example, uh, let me just write 
write this down. All right, so I wrote this, tenemos este ejemplo acá, that, for example here, in English Americano, or in Acento Americano, we should say she bought her daughter a bottle of water. You see, enrollamos la lengua y el inglés americano is a little bit exaggerated, un poquito exagerado. So, in British accent, con acento británico, yo diría, she bought her daughter a bottle of water. You see, so it changes a little bit. Cambia un poquito the accent. It's like uh, weird. It sounds weird to us. Suena un poco raro para nosotros because we're not used to that. Since we were to school, desde que fuimos a la escuela, probably what we listened to, it was American accent. So here, uh, it's only explaining. Solamente está explicando the difference, la diferencia que hay en spelling, en deletreo, between American English, Inglés Americano, of the United States, and any other country. Los, de, los otros países que no son Estados Unidos lo escriben de esta manera. So, as you can see, the only difference, la única diferencia es the letter U, la letra U. So, we're just going to read that. Oscar, can you help me, Oscar, reading this part? ¿Puedes ayudarme leyendo the first line? Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Both words mean the same thing in, in, in its, its spelling depends on the country where the word is greater. Okay, so as it says, they, uh, they mean the same thing, but it depends, depende on the country, okay? So we have the word color is the United States. And the word colored is used in the rest of English speaking countries, such as England, Australia, New Zealand, etc. So here we have the difference. Now, another thing which is important, guys, is that when you want to know about the color, la pregunta que usted va a saber el color es, what color is it? What color is it? All right, so that's the question that we're going to, to ask when we want to know about the color of something. Now we're gonna move on and we're gonna see another difference. Vamos a ver otra diferencia that we have in English. For example, para el color gris. In the United States, lo vamos a escribir G-R-A-Y. G -R -E -E, I'm sorry, A Y. So what is going to be the difference in British English? ¿Cuál va a ser la diferencia con el resto de los otros países eh, que hablan inglés? It's just the letter E, que cambiamos la letra A a la letra E. So that's going to be uh, the, the difference that we have. Now, with the order of the colors, para formar oraciones con los colores, tenemos tres. We have three ways, tres formas. Three ways of doing that. The number one, la número uno. We can listen to some music there. So we have the verb to be plus the color, más el color. And we have, for example, my car is blue. Mi carro es azul, right? And we have another form. Tenemos otra forma. Primero decimos el color y luego la cosa. The blue car, el carro azul, is mine. Es mío. And then we have the word number three or the form number three. The color is the noun. Blue is the color of my car. 
So, el color se convierte en el sujeto y decimos azul es el color de mi carro. Blue is the color of my car. So, those are 